Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say some real uh, quick stuff about uh, some of the stuff I'm focusing on a little bit. But yeah, I was thinking about the something about the um, Ario Speedwagon thing, uh, the song "Keep on Loving You" and the the, the phrase "Cold up and hissing." And you know, there's something I was like looking at and, and thinking about um, that um, that triggered like all the stuff about like the the seashell and the uh, Apple iPhone SE being like yes, and you know with the the, the extra E being S-E-E, -E, uh, a multiple thing about the symbolic representation on the backside of the U.S. one dollar bill equating to 59. And something about the, the, um, the part about the practical application based upon, um, you know, the rectangle of like a night vision of like Abraham Lincoln and the vertical rectangle on Lincoln Continental, what that is, the night vision and all the field scope and range of law and the accuracy that way. But anyway, I was thinking about that song um, because of uh, the the tube effect, it's called the tube effect, it's about like the, the seashell and the way it's designed, like the ear is <clears throat> in the Pentagon Reserve reverse and the 92 stuff, you know, and drummer and bicentennial and ultimately getting to, you know, the quarter being like hardware or, you know, the 200 year celebration of the bicentennial quarter that way with the drummer on the back side as well as, um, you know, Roosevelt being the thing about the FDIC, not limited to ultimately getting to like Sarbanes and Oxley financial instruments uh, and SOX compliance and some humor about, you know, uh, Neptune between uh, Boston and um, uh, Chicago in a way. But anyway, yeah, so um, I'll, I might focus a little bit on the humor about that. Um, uh, and what I mean by focus is, is talk about it a little bit. But anyway, uh, in any case, yeah, so I was like thinking about that song and, and all cold up and hissing and I was like looking at the, the high sun, the high sun axis 700 UTV. <clears throat> The high sun. I pronounce it high sun for the mere sake of pronunciation um, for many reasons as compared to what I'm really thinking about the involving like a, a, the Ario Speedwagon song, Keep on Loving You, and the coiled up and hissing, the hissing, the high sun, um, and what that is to uh, the equator. Yeah, for real. And um, yeah, for real. Or, or what that is to um, some factors that I, I see uh, involving something about the impedance and ambience of the 13 band graphic equalizer and what that is to Texas, Mexico, or even the equator in that way and operator that way. And the thing with this is that the, the cold up and hiss is like a, the seashell is like um, considered, um, you know, a sound effect of, of, it's called a tube. I mean, I've, that's all I've ever really known it as being referred to as. Um, at what internet protocol in the way of like a, you know, a, 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 like surfing uh, the internet in the way um, about the tube, yeah, um, and I'll just kind of stop right there about that right there and um, what that is to the front lines of the beach run in the way of like importing and exporting. Well, anyway, like a uh, Ario Speedwagon, and I'm just now saying it really for the first time. It's a, it, it's a very nice um, a UTV, uh, utility vehicle, and um, yeah, it's like real nice. So anyway, I was like looking at it, and it's just like it was just like there, okay, and um, all the thoughts about the the, the sound effect of, of uh, the tube uh, and you know being like the design of uh, you heard it before gnarly and and uh, the gnarl thing um, a perception of the ear that actually presents the um, the balance and the depth uh, about the design of the ear and it's coiled up it's kind of like the song that's reminding me of like what I'm looking at uh, with a high sun axis uh, 700 and like a Pat Robertson with the 700 club and you know uh, the Oral Roberts thing, the Oral Roberts University thing about Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Oral Roberts in the, in the way, uh, and many factors involving, you know, something about the 78 escrow and some other, uh, other factor of like the heartbeat of America, hard God, and uh, that about, you know, identifying something about the American Idol, likewise, in addition. Well, anyway, um, ultimately, and including like a, a tractor protractor deal about the, um, it's not really humor, but I mean, it's like entertainment like between Wyatt Earp and John Wayne and the way I say it is like a of a Lord's Supper as well as the baptism that way of hop sync uh, being like the white thing about the Mugu guy pan and the egg and shots about Nano Nano and like Robin Williams and Pam Dauber okay uh, Mork and Mindy television series of the you know the B twin he was like the shots about Nano Nano thing and you know my thing about it is like the uh, impedance and ambience and and what what the ohms um, is the resistance in the way of like a the, the, the horseshoe and what that is to uh, transportation in the alphamerics of 200 that way or the bicentennial 200 year celebration 
of America and a bass tenor recorder and a drummer on the back side, what that is to, um, you know, intelligence um, or, you know, a telepathic bass or you've heard it before about bass, uh, like suggesting the military thing about it and uh, <clears throat> the exact opposite or, you know, the Pentagon Reserve reverse in the way of, um, you know, um, even a drummer in the Alpha Americas of 92, that way of a bass and tenor on what they, uh, the deal is what I'm thinking about the RL Speedwagon and the uh, the thing about the uh, UTV, the I, I choose the high sun thing because of VSAT. Um, it may be pronounced by some, I'm not sure if it's just like designated as only one, but you know, it's like proper English numerical composition and like linguistics, you know. But anyway, it's kind of like high sun, the axis, and in, in, in my thing about the uh, axis, intersecting axis of Audi being the three, <clears throat> and what the pi r squared is to, um, you know, using the radius uh, with the three point, you know, one, four, one, six, ultimately getting to, uh, you know, like um, the, 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 the 14 and 16 being added together being 30 and what peace is in like um, presidential administration. And my thing about the V-twin, the, the V-twin thermocouple semiconductor would be like um, the difference between a conductor uh, and, and ambidextrous thing about individual conductors as compared to semiconductor. Um, yeah, so I mean, the thing about that would be I even mean, represented the backside of the US one dollar, or you know, what, um, in, in my mind, how I see it really of like even Sarbanes and Oxley, uh, um, financial instruments, yeah, of SOX compliance being that way of the, the compliance and a little bit of humor about the Boston and Chicago between you know, something about Neptune and alignment to parallel universe, kind of like deal about that, maybe Neptune in one whole note, um. But are you sure, you know, and, and all that stuff about the solar system and planets of like Uranus and, uh, and Venus in that way. But anyway, the HTTP colon, double forward slash, and the humor about the double forward clash of the Titans. And a little bit of real quick stuff about the Houston Oilers moving to the Tennessee Titans that way. And, you know, what tennis is to Tennessee and the Apple iPhone SE of language being yes and with the E being, you know, um, 29 or the exact opposite of 92 um, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm like looking at that and I'm thinking about it because uh, as a matter of fact, the, the, the impedance, you know, represents like the omega sign or the ohms and ultimately it gets to uh, the issue of like uh, the, the, the shoe, the horseshoe, okay, and what that is to like the brake shoe and ultimately getting into, um, uh, you know, a progressive thing like beyond Calamity Jane and, you know, the, 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 the clam, you know, uh, representing, you know, even the pearl in that way of what the color, code, code, like a, a color code of white and the, the white arts of like St. Louis and ultimately getting to, you know, I can go on and on about the bird and like the Star of David and the, and the blue and purple bird of like uh, Israel and, you know, Star of David and all that stuff. And, and, you know, a little bit of humor about the hypothetical metaphor, you know, six point star. And it really, I mean, it's not much humor about it. I mean, it seems to be like a real deal about not funny, really, seriously, for, for real. But anyway, yeah, in any case, yeah, so um, I was thinking about that, all that, and, and, and uh, ultimately, you know, I'm looking at the UTV, um, the high sun, and, and, you know, I was thinking about the Argo Speedwagon because, I mean, it's like the one anyway about the, the, the Speedwagon, I mean, for real. And, you know, it's kind of like thinking about, you know, it's like I'm a drummer, okay? And like I said, on, on my YouTube, like... Uh, YouTube.com channel at Wade A S V Pretty. That's W A D E A S V P R I D D Y. Likewise, with the new, and it's in coordination with each other, but the new videos um, that are like predominantly starting with like me talking. Uh, I, I don't have my drum. I have to rearrange and do a little bit uh, about getting my drums set up again. And there's been like some issues that no, I wouldn't even be here talking probably like right now about like really any of this, you know, because it's like making. My music videos as a as a portfolio music music video portfolio that you know the standards like you know like use predominantly ultimately getting to you know like progressive heavy metal hard pop punk rock and you know my thing about you know like getting to like uh, the the position being a real good position you know about the commercial building and you know all that and, and getting into the original music I mean like really really getting into it. anyway so like um I was like doing all that using you know just like what I chose as a standard for myself making music videos, but anyway, yeah, so, um, then some other issues came up, and anyway, so, like, I'm talking about quite a bit right now, and, and there's some other factors involving, um, you know, the thing about hop saying and the high silver thing, and, and once again, it, it, it's getting to the, the high silver, and, you know, the thing about the toilet and sanitation, um, 
and 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 something about um, the deal about the you know my my thought about a little bit of humor of like uh, for Purple Mountain's Majesty uh, and what the plateau is to you know a little bit of humor about get smart get Maxwell smart and you know the summit meeting thing about you know get smart get Maxwell smart about a color code you know uh, beyond sanitation and you know predominantly the color code of like white and it's all okay but the thing with this is but but the plateau that Maxwell smart a little bit of humor about you know the um <clears throat> the plateau up and the you know the little thing about like a plateau and the rising canyon that way of a plateau you know um for purple months you know in any case yeah so really it, it seems to be a little bit of humor about that but in any case yeah even color code i mean for real um about that and and anyway i was like getting to the um thing about the um oral roberts and um pat robertson and um the 700 club and while i was looking at that uh, utv i've been actually looking at maybe something like that, including the Audi and yeah, some other factors about the the the, the, the Dodge Ram um, revolution, the all electric. I mean, it's like real cool, man. Yeah, for real. I mean, it's like real cool. Um, it's probably like the best one I've seen uh, is the the Dodge Ram uh, revolution. Yeah, and the um, Chevrolet Colorado Z R2. And it's amazing that, that something about the Z R2 and the Pi R squared that way. And something you know, I've been really like looking and focusing on based upon practical application and principle like integration of, um, you know, terms in presidential office, like, uh, um, you know, something about Richard Nixon and, and exponential quotients of like a, like the two, you know, fingers that symbolize peace there in that time. Richard Nixon, he himself didn't quite mention it in reference that way or um, anything other than, you know, the, the thought of uh, what would be like a national security issue of like a, um, and, you know, I don't really call it, and doesn't that it has to be a breach of national security in a way of what eavesdropping. My thing about, you know, the word itself seems to be like a Garden of Eden thing. I mean, so for real about something about, the, you know, the pronunciation, the names, and, you know, everything the way it really is about the, the garden, uh, you know, or what that really is, the Garden of Eden, and, and you know, like a, a living room, or, you know, what the deal is about Eden. In any case, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, um, you know, or the ad in, in the end thing, you know, ultimately in my mind it's getting to like a, the deal about the um, language and the 13 man graphic equalizer of uh, what Eden is to English or, you know, E-N and, you know, the thing about um, something about, you know, Spanish or, you know, um, Latin terminology. Ultimately it does get to Latin terminology, you know, based upon, you know, um, something about the FDIC in a way of like a, the U.S. dollar and the history in the book, and it seems to be like the book about, you know, the history of the U.S. dollar going below the equator, ultimately getting to Latin America and some factors that seem to be, you know, originating as a, a religious thing, going like through Mexico and Texas, and ultimately the Alpha Americas of 69, and like Jehovah, okay, and ultimately it gets to like, you know, some humor about the, you know, the G was hoping for a long day, you know, but hey, how about that Jehovah when it's watchtower? And, you know, some other factors about, you know, what I see, like a, the white arts of St. Louis and like a covenant of God in a way of like, I mean, entertainment law, like um, what the deal is about hop singing that way between like Wyatt Earp and Earp being like the exclusionary rule provision of executive powers and sovereign immunities and governmental amnesties. And, and, and what that is to like a purple mountain and, and you know, the P the invisible but silent and the pronunciation in the way of like a ERP and URP as compared to ERP. And, and you know what the baptism and maritime law really means to the front lines of the beachfront and importing and exporting that way of some amphibious reality of like J. Edgar Hoover of, you know, the Federal Bureau of Investigation of the FBI. I mean, that's really a big deal about J. Edgar Hoover's the amphibious thing. Not limited to and, and, and what that is to um, the hovercraft and and, and J. Edgar Hoover and, you know, Infinity and ultimately it's to, you know, the deal about the, um, the, the spelling of Hoover as compared to Hover and what Amphibious is and, you know, it, it's ultimately getting, get, I mean, it has, I have, like, really, it's just like it's all coming to, you know, the major deal about really where I'm kind of really at about the, um, the, the 90 degree right angle being, um, a pi r squared of symmetrical, asymmetrical, a practical application that is the radius, okay? And the radius actually presents the issue of symmetrical and asymmetrical, almost like a mirroring, mirroring in a way, but with practical application and principle applied, even empowered that way of exponential quotients of the pi r squared, really being like a symmetrical, asymmetrical deal about the, um, the square uh, being the circle and, and what that is to a 90 degree right angle 
of infinity and the lines of infinity representing, you know, the two circles. Uh, because, you know, um, the asymmetrical symmetrical deal is like the radius, okay? Uh, uh, approximation of the radius and using the three point, one, four, one, six, okay? And, you know, the, the, the pair, you know, the two thing about binary numbers um, of the one and zero or, you know, a 10 looking like 10 and, and spelled out being like 39. And in any case, I mean, it goes on and on about paper mate that way of uh, 56 is 10, ultimately getting to 94, a Roe v. Wade thing of like, um, you know, annotated or uh, uh, adoption or abortion and something about the way uh, Roe is spelt um, involving like what legal media only suggests as the difference between like legal media and deposition or transcript in a way of like available and called Scotland for the hair and the beard. In, in, in the way of, you know, my, the way I see um, Sarbanes and Oxley financial instruments of SOX compliance and the humor a little bit about them, um, the ACTP colon and Austin Powers Blue Bonnet Imperial Eagle, the way of, you know, the hop sing high of silver, the thing about the toilet and where the silver stainless toilet is to, uh, you know, one of the oldest governmental mainframes called the Whopper. And that's the deal about the, okay. <clears throat> The deal about the um, imperial legal is the crown. And Geneva, Switzerland, in a way, of, you know, uh, going through a circuit seems to be like even more the bigger deal of at, at the level, uh, you know, of the minimum of the separation between church and state. Uh, the color code of the United States codes annotated being the, the red, the, the, the blood color, even symbolic of like the, even the Lord's Supper, um, you know, uh, breaking of the bread and, and, and partaking and, and what that is, you know, to. Uh, Symbolic representation of you know the the, the red words in the New Testament, the King James Version Bible. Bible. Yet at the same time, it's like the, the the white thing. At the same time, of like the St. Louis Cardinal being the color code, uh, representing the New Testament and like the United States Code's annotated, and like the white arts to the Ark of the Covenant seems to be like the big deal about the the white arts and what that is to uh, the Book of Mormon, Church of Jesus Christ Latter Day Saints, and the American Amplified thing about it and you know while I'm thinking about it real quick I'm going to try to remember because I was like thinking about some stuff and I kind of like talk aloud sometimes to you know um you know audibly you know hear myself sometimes and, and a little bit you know beyond what perception means and and signal strength yeah for real so anyway so like um I do that sometimes and 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 really I'm, I want to get this on there it's already going on like 17 minutes and and really it's kind of like I was focusing on something about the hop saying and you know getting beyond you know the um the hop sing high old silver thing and you know the onion rings uh, uh in orbit and and you know a little bit of humor about you know um that as well as you know a color code of an onion ring and what that is to the white arts of of hop sing. and the mugu the, the egg the mork from orc thing and robin williams and pam dopper that way of the egg okay and the shots about 909 of the uh, v-twin thermocouple semiconductor and what that is to a panoramic academia and peripheral tolerance i mean even a uh really uh, something that i i've looked at of, of the world trade center and like the the two beaming lights you know straight up in the air uh in the way of like um you know what 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 has been you know i don't know if i'd call it memorialized but it seemed to be like um <laughs> it really seems to be the deal about the sarbanes and oxley and financial instruments and sox compliance of um Something about the two, how true uh, about the backside of the U.S. one dollar between the thing about the pyramid and you know the eagle with the shield. But anyway, the thirteen stars. I'm pretty sure it's probably pretty much a, quite a bit about it. But I have my my thoughts and viewpoints about that. But anyway, yeah. So um, the deal about the World Trade Center and and the difference between um, like a you know nine eleven is automatically like the emergency call. Okay, an emergency being ninety five. And I just mentioned this about a previous like video I just talked about. But anyway. It's like getting to like a, the difference between 1995 to like, and how true it is everywhere, I'm not sure. Or if it's, you know, really the reality of identical locations. I mean, like of New York and the World Trade Center. and Or maybe, you know, the proper English miracle composition thing about the, what footage is uh, as compared to what legal media is and, and auditing what would be, you know, the, the live thing, like um, live on air. Uh, being the alphabetics of 105 or even the spelling of what the I really is in the word savior and what that is to the backside of the US one dollar and the deity in that way of how the word savior is normally spelt and it's not spelt you know between like um, um, you know the King James Version Bible referring to normally um, you know the Lord Jesus Christ is sometimes not even pronounced or spelt that way I've seen it both ways but yeah I've seen it more without the I as a matter of fact in the King James Version Bible savior as compared to, you know, the thing about me studying alphanumerics and linguistics and, 
you know, integration and practical application of principles and even, you know, thought of like exponential quotients as compared to, um, you know, pi r squared of addition and, and uh, instead of a, a variable, which is predominantly like in a position of where the degree goes, okay, you know, referring to a difference in temperature change or the equator that way of, I mean, absolute zero or, or even presidential terms in office referring to it as, as ground zero or, you know, really what that is. Uh, it seems to be like the big deal of rectification in the atmosphere in a way of like the degreed graduate alumni and what the bubble is, where the bubble is and where the bubble is not. Even, you know, the smallest bubble of union carbide that way and the strongest of like metals, you know, I mean, known to mankind. Uh, I mean, the smallest, you know, has to be seen by x-ray and microscope that way. Um, but yeah, uh, or even the building foundations of concrete uh, and, and uh, on outer edges of like, you know, uh, the floors would like a huge, uh, a, a big vibrator to get all the air bubbles out to vibrate it so the, the, the concrete when it dries is like extremely strong and uh, um, not at risk of um, compromise that way of, of, of building and structure and architecture. And the thing with this is that really um, something about the degree and, and, and um, Sarbanes and Oxley um, uh, financial instruments, okay? And SOX compliance and what SOX compliance in my my thing about studying alphanumerics and linguistics seemed to be getting to the um, the deal about the exponential quotient and the pi r squared. You know, the thing about the pi r squared is that it's identified with the words, okay? And where the degree would normally be in temperature is like where the two is uh, normally of, of powers, um, of multiplication, um, sometimes even a combination of variables with exponential quotients uh, in the position, not limited to only one digit or variable, but a, 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 an addition or subtraction of like variables of, of powers of multiplication, yet of addition and combined that way of multiplication and either addition or subtraction of exponential quotients in the position where you would see in temperature, okay? And it's like the pi r squared and um, deal about the infinity in the 90 degree right angle that way of a symmetrical, asymmetrical deal of pi r squared being like, you know, half, uh, what would be representative of getting the full perspective of the way it really is when it's, you know, um, computation is, 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 is complete, like a, like a symmetrical, asymmetrical deal um, in that way of pi r squared, getting symmetrical, asymmetrical of a squared, yet the formula is designed for a circle. I mean, and it really presents the computation of the two zeros and the two circles of like, um, you know, Fred Flintstone, I mean, for real, about the the, uh, the isometrics, you know, above the flat plane surface of 180 degrees, okay, is, is my deal about Fred Flintstone. Not limited to his name in, in, in many ways that way. Um, and, and the thing about the pi r squared and, you know, the, you know like the, the 1980s band Cigars and Rick Ocasek and Benjamin Orr, the thing about the life's the same movement in stereo. Life's the same except for Fred Flintstone's shoes, I mean, for real. And what that is to um, volume, you know, beyond uh, the circumference, the, the, the flat plane of the inner diameter of a circle of isometrics getting into three-dimensional, uh, you know, of actual participation uh, in a cylindrical way uh, involving, you know, uh, what is identified as volume in a cylindrical deal like, like Fred Flintstone and what that is to the exponential quotients. And those, it seems to be like the real big deal about, you know, the absolute values that way of what seems to be like uh, right now, the year 2023. I mean, dating back all the way to like Richard Nixon and like night vision of Abraham Lincoln and like Lincoln Continental and that, that rectangle of like a, the field scope and range of law of a vertical like a rectangle. And, you know, some computation that would like, you know, be the 90 degree some factors are like the U.S. map in 1992. And my thing about it is that really is, is that, uh, I mean, like I have been really, you know, going a lot on my memory. I mean, it's a huge amount, really. And and I really have depend you know, quite a bit on it. And my thing about the the, uh, the the memory minus de facto, and my thought, you know, why litigation isn't necessarily de facto yet. I've also, like, looked at the, the two words in comparison to, like, steeplechase and chase in a way of like what steeplechase is, the chase practicum, and the alphanumerics of 140 itself, and alphanumerics being 140 or attenuation. And when uh, the pi r squared thing about attenuation and the UA taken out of the word, and, and it being the attention like this absolute salute thing of Christianity, and like a thermocouple semiconductor, um, in that way, in a peripheral tolerance of panoramic academia, 
I mean, it seems, I mean, all that terminology, I mean, it's like all the connected, I mean, it's like really the real deal about it being there and available. And, and that's my thing about it. Uh, it's like, you know, using what I really, really look at and study that way and, 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 and like arrange in my mind. And, you know, I'm just now really kind of like talking about it because, uh, uh, you know, I'd be like making music videos and getting into, you know, like uh, my original music and audio production and, uh, um, you know, um, everything about, you know, music video and concert and, you know, um, the thing about the, you know, the circuit of, of touring, not limited to, but yeah. Um, yeah, so like I, I, I was doing that and some, some issues are, had arisen. Uh, and, and the time has, you know, been designated um, to like having to like really rearrange. And it's like been really a slow deal. My thing about the SSI, Supplemental Security Income, as compared to the acronym or some like, uh, you know, something about the, 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 the thought of like a secret service or what that is to the I or 35 or, you know, the ninth letter and, and being some like, you know, intelligence and investment thing about, you know, the SSI and the superstar investment thing about it, right? Or what that is to the, you know, the, um, about face thing and, and the intelligence about like a telepathic face in a way of the International Space Station, not limited to, although the acronym, yeah, and you know what that is to like even Chuck Woolery, okay? And you know, I was thinking about it because I, Chuck, I just thought about, you know, Chuck Woolery for the first time really because of the hop scene thing, okay? And the white R's and the Ark and the Covenant and the code, color code being white, the, the, the Covenant, I mean, and it's, it, it's like the... It's automatic in a religious way, the Ark of the Covenant, and normally it's of God, right? And the deal about the color code as compared to the golden arches and what the pearly gates of heaven suggest to like Pearland, or Pearl, in a way, even Calamity Jane and the Pony Express of the horseshoe, suggesting, you know, the shape of the horseshoe looks like the, the, the ohm, uh, the resistance of um, most PA speakers and, you know, uh, normally, I mean, I've seen, you know, the eight ohms all the way up to like a 5,000 watt, just one individual cabinet PA speaker, um, um, a 5,000 watt, you know, like a mega super woofer in that way, <clears throat> uh, you know, like a cabinet speaker. Anyway, eight ohms is like normally associated with that symbolic representation of the ohm. Uh, sometimes it's actually identified or referred to as an omega um, in that way, but eight ohms is ultimately getting to like, you know, the thing about the what impedance in in my mind to the to night vision what the nano luminance of pastel red is to impedance that way uh, measured in nano units um in a way of night vision and and even the 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 nano luminance of pastel green of province of world history how true night vision is um being a pastel green of night vision uh, as compared to province of world history the the 114 of you know, like executive, um, whether history is the, the, the seems the difference in, between legal media and deposition between the Alpha and Rx 114 between an executive or what history is, <clears throat> or really if it's really, really ultimately getting to really um, if import and export is really the big deal about, I mean, the baptism, you know, going beyond like maritime law, like import and export is like, uh, it looks like sometimes like the issue of even a religious deal ultimately getting to the 12 foot reserve banks and the 12 tribes of Israel. My thing about um, the, the tribe of Reuben, okay, is like uh, one of the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, 12,000 in each tribe equaling 144,000. And what that thousand is to like the Ten Commandments or even binary numbers of the Big Ten or paper mate being, you know, and it ultimately gets to, you know, what the deal is to even um, uh, uh, the memorial thing and what that is to the equator or what being above, you know, um, in an isometric way, metric system, the Big Ten units of 10 are binary numbers and what that is to like I-10, Interstate 10, um, or the equator in a way of like a absolute zero or, or ground zero. And the thing of it is, is that it seems to be like the deal about lightning and controlling dissipation of like uh, electrical as well as an overabundant amount of like electronic dissipation uh, or what the, the converting mathematics between when a generator no longer computates as wattage but gets into um, no longer going to computate in wattage in the way of co conversion into only electrical. And that seems to be like a big deal, like right now in my mind, um, you know, of, of some other factors that I'm really thinking about um, uh, and, and practical application of principles and powers of, of like exponential quotients. Um, and like, you know, like the, the, the power squared is like um, the deal about it already being identified. It's not really 
variable other than the radius itself. Yet the R2, the thing about exponential quotients of variables of multiplication, of powers of multiplication, is the thing about the variable and the placement and the position, what would be normally, you know, thought of maybe I mean, a real easy uh, a representation of like the degree and temperature that way. It's like where the powers and, and, and exponential quotients and, and, and what powers are identified sometimes as, yet with, with knowing what the formula is and radius is, um, pi r squared, uh, it's just like taught to be, you know, like a symmetrical, asymmetrical, and the way of just adding, you know, the radius together um, uh, with using a 3.14 based upon that, whether if it's an approximation of the radius to get the exact uh, diameter by using a 3.1416, okay? And ultimately it's getting to like even the issue in my mind of like a, the terabyte being, um, how true it is, you know, I'd even ask the question because of what I'm fixing to say, it's like the terabyte being 1,024 gigabytes. And you know, that being, you know, like the binary number, the, the two di two digits being like, you know, um, paired up in a way of like a, you know, uh, uh, the forefathers of the nation are sequencing characterization in sets of four of computer programming. The HTTP colon double four slash. I mean, it seems to be like the big deal about, you know, the pair or the two or, or even PG-13 in a way of, uh, I mean, even presidential governors that way or, you know, even parental guidance as a rating between like, like immediately, like, you know, like North America is region one or, you know, region zero in my mind, you know, like not limited to including import and exporting. Of, you know what the region zero really is to an operator or even VSAT that way or the equator um, Likewise in addition, you know, I was kind of like thinking about something about that and um, I was actually getting to you know the symmetrical isometrical deal about the power squared and once again um, I kind of lost my direction <laughs> What I was actually gonna say but anyway, I'll get back to it later. It's already going on what um, Right at 32 minutes right now, but anyway, um yeah, so I was kind of like wanting to say something about this because like also I was like wanting to include something about Nostradamus real quick uh, Narrated by Orson Welles, the man who saw tomorrow the prophecies of Nostradamus, okay, with Orson Welles narrating it And something about the predictions, the accuracy narrated by Orson Welles identifying uh, Nostradamus as having a 400 year of accuracy And identifying that beyond the new millennium uh, being like the landmark of a thousand um, Which would be almost like the pi r squared factor of like a, a thousand, you know, added twice being the year 2000, which really is the case right now. Um, being 2000 and the 400 years of actually being 2400, like, almost like a SAT of an entry exam of like a, the highest possible score on an SAT test um, of, of 2400, okay? And like I really took interest in it when I really started getting Alfred Marison. I mean, I'd watched it several times because I thought, thought it was like really cool. But, you know, ultimately the predictions of Nostradamus seem to be like the deal about the, the year 2012 based upon, you know, the narration of Orson Welles. And ultimately it had gotten to, you know, the prediction that there was going to be, you know, even the movie, you know, 2012. Uh, but anyway, somewhere in my mind, it's, it's almost like a Chuck Woolery and the, the humor, not really humor really at all, but, you know, I mean, I'm sure someone could find a little bit of humor about it, but the reality about, you know, the HTTP colon, double four slash, and the thing about naming Neptune on Neptune in one whole note, or the Uranus and Venus thing about, you know, some humor about the, you know, awesome powers, um, um, Blue Bonnet Imperial Eagle in the way of, like, uh, what that is to, um, you know, the oldest mainframe, governmental mainframe identifies the Whopper and the Imperial Eagle and the Crown, you know, suggesting, you know, the Whopper and the Burger King thing, okay? Uh, in any case, I mean, it's like the, all the connectivity is like really all about it, okay? And and, and the deal about the uh, hop scene in that way. And getting to the VSAT uh, about the, the the white arch as compared to the golden arches and what the pearly gates of heaven and the streets of gold is to like a, the streets of gold being like a, the golden arches of like, you know, panning for gold. And the delta force, you know, and the river deal about where gold is panned for as compared to like the hop scene thing. Of the V twin thing of like Mork for Mork and the egg and the Mugu guy pan the color code and what the, the, the color code is. I mean, you know, um, in, in traffic to the, the the red, yellow, and green and the yellow deal about the yolk or the clarity of like um the the fact of the egg 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 white and, and the temperature being the white and the Mugu guy pan thing about hopsing that way in between like Wyatt Earp and John Wayne in my mind like even of the Lord suffer and the baptism that way or maritime law suggesting you know be on the front lines of the beach right uh, and uh, or, or you know symbolic representation on the backside 
of, of like, you know, <laughs> you know, the baptism, I mean, you know, really about the airborne thing and the symbolic representation on the backside of the U.S. $1 and the computation of the symbolic representation being 50 ad, like, like a father or the star and what a star is born is, of, you know, like a telepathic thing about the, uh, uh, spiritually, you know, I choose the, the, the spiritually gifted thing about uh, telepathic communication and, you know, what the, what the telepathic, the TP being 36 and Chase, what steeplechase is in my mind as, as compared to what maybe um, Sarbanes and Oxley Financial Instrument is to the Bicentennial Quarter or the, the conductor as compared to the semiconductor or peripheral tolerance of panoramic academia that way between the, the conductor and semiconductor and what that is to uh, ambidextrous participating factors of like, you know, peripheral tolerance of panoramic academia and, and what it is to 180 degree uh, reality, you know, of a flat plane surface, or, you know, a straight line in that way of, uh, of like 180 being like a telepathic answer. Okay, and like, like I look at all that stuff like that for real and, and what that is, it seems to be like the big deal about the, the, the Chevrolet Geo Prism and the Hyundai Excel that way of like uh, for Purple Mountain's Majesty. And my thing about the, you know, the Alphamerics and, and uh, the Fort Stockton, Texas thing about a, a plateau and a Permian Basin plateau, that way of like a, an identical twin, like a rainbow, that way of, a, and, and the way I see like American Idol, not limited to, but also like a something about NATO and what NATO is to like a, the European, the, or what NATO might normally only be uh, thought of. I've heard, once again, I've heard it pronounced NATO, North Atlantic, Peace Treaty Organization as compared to North Atlantic um, Treaty Organization. And the deal about pronunciation proper English numerical composition, when you see the P is pronounced, and normally when it's silent and the P is silent, it's like where the S is like, you know, or, you know, reading from left to right, you know, immediately right after the P, right? Well, anyway, the thing with it is, is that the, uh, the PTO of, of, of that, I've heard it pronounced that way, I mean, it's like the, the American Idol thing about the PTO and the RPM of like a, an American Idol being like normally a standard of 800 for like any four wheel, like on a, on, on a highway of like transportation and, and the PTO being of like a three point issue of like a, a drive in that way or what, 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 what drive is to a river, a driver as compared to a river, what the D is to a hypo, hypothetical metaphor. <clears throat> you know, of, of a six-point star. Likewise, in addition, the thing about it, and and what the, what the triangle is to the delta force that way, as compared to a three-point triangle, a three-point, being you know the sixth point of like the Israeli flag, okay. And my thing about it is like you know I really kind of like get into it. So I thought maybe you know I'd go ahead and talk about it. It's already going on, close to like thirty-eight minutes. Um, and and in any case, I want to get that in because I want to go over it and. Like really get into it because I, I wanted to cover that much about the Nostradamus and um, I, I think there's something else too. I'm trying to remember real quick, but uh, uh, yeah. So I mean, there's like a lot I like like really think about, and you know, it's, it's significant. I mean, because my interest, you know, in in alpha numerics and 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 uh, linguistics and and applying practical application of principle and you know analytics and and uh, I mean a, a considerable amount about a lot of information. Um, and you know what the M is in, N is M, and 13 is 14, 14 is 13. And the 55 thing about, you know, uh, the Mork from Ar Ork thing, like uh, Robin Williams and Pam Dauber, you know, uh, Mork and Mindy, the television show, and what Boulder, Colorado is at, to M is N, the two letters in the middle being the 13th and 14th, they'll be in the Alpha Max of 55. And the deal about Mork from Ork and the shot about 909 and the impedance and ambience, and not limited to ultimately getting to. The American Amplified deal about the the 192 and what amplification is to signal strength there, and the home theater that way as compared to you know, even the quadraphonics during the the, the high fi high infidelity thing about it and um and what that is to a hypothetical metaphor of a six point star okay and and it really gets into it and and it's on it identifies I've seen it both like on Cadillac and Lincoln Continental as an MKZ and MKHZ and you know the VSAT technology involving the signal strength and the power amplification on the home theater in that one word in the book of Thessalonians of like re-entering heaven from Mount Olives, okay? And the humor about, you know, the advantage of love. It's really not humor, um, but I, 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 I'm for sure that, you know, the humor about, you know, ground rule double, um, you know, and, and, and the tennis balls and, and, and the baseballs and like the, you know, the seemingly so deal about, you know, the tennis court and what a hypothetical metaphor is 
to only two players as compared to four players in the marginal spread. I mean, the court itself of the tennis court. A 90-degree right angle of a baseball field getting to the pi r squared and the, the, the infinity of, like, perfect 10-10 vision. And, you know, somewhere in my mind about the Barbara Walters and Hugh, Hugh Downs um, representing, you know, a, a significant amount of what a 2020 vision is as compared to, you know, the 1010 vision and how impedance and ambience of two different 13-band um, graphic equalizers, one was made in Mexico and normally wasn't even available in Texas. I mean, I never even, you know, I was like really into it back then about, you know, 13-band uh, graphic equalizers and, and you know, like uh, in the car, you know. And anyway, um, my thing was like, my favorite was like the, the, the Clarion 200-watt multicolored digital readout display of the 13 band graphic equalizer but that is not really the one that had the the, the ambience being the the past cell like of like night vision is of, of like nano units measured that way of night vision of like the the past cell green past cell being 73 like Harris the Houston Texas thing or you know Egypt in a way of the pyramid in the US dollar or what that is to the Delta force being the triangle is it, you know, really the transportation by the driver or the river in a way of like panning for gold there in Sox and Goldman deal, you know, between, you know, the Wyatt Earp and John Wayne thing during that time, um, and, you know, ultimately getting to the night vision of like Abraham Lincoln, what in my mind, the syllable of Abraham being like the V twin, 22 and 22, how true it is about the Vicks formula 44, maybe, maybe the 44 thing about oath, uh, or what that is to like J. Edgar Hoover and the amphibious thing about, you know, um, the airborne thing about, you know, being on the front lines of the beach front, even of a baptism of water, of even Navy, and that way of like maritime law, and getting all airborne about the Air Force thing about, you know, symbolic representation on the backside of the US $1 bill. And the computation of that symbolic representation being like the minimum requirement, really equaling the three different methods of simple addition being 58, like the star. And what all that is to like, you know, being airborne as compared to the stars born thing, okay? And and for real, you know, I like really think about that and, and spent spent a lot of time, like years and years, about a lot of stuff I'm talking about. And it's like narrowed down to like really where I'm what I'm talking about right now. Not limited to, I mean by a huge amount, but really anyway, yeah, my, my thing about like my attention that way, but yeah, so anyway, it, it only got to like um something about that and, and um anyways the, the thing about the the, the thirteen man graphic equalizer and I do believe it was like a, a Mexico with the, the impedance representing the ohms or the hosher or what that is, the Calamity Jane and the Pony Express as compared to what the brake shoe is compared to the horseshoe. Or like, you know, the horsepower in a way of the horse, uh, you know, in General Motors Acceptance Corporation and Promissory Note or what that is to, um, you know, the ohms as, as what is on the 13 man graphic equalizer the 13 stars or the 13 colonies of American history. And history being 114, the executive thing about, you know, even ERP and exclusionary rule provision, uh, or even a pronunciation of ERP and purple and the P being silent, and the LE being, you know, the thing about, you know, Texas and North America, not really in my mind saying um, anything other than, you know, the exact opposite of LE being EL and, and, and something about, you know, what Texas and Mexico is to the equator and the operator, that way the separation between terms of state and and the HTTP and ultimately it gets to like, you know, the, the, the night vision of, of, of Abraham Lincoln um, and Abraham being like, you know, the V-twin 22 and 22 in the way of like a syllable. And in my mind, even Sarah biblically and what uh, Abraham is to Sarah and Joseph or Chase Practical being 140. I like Alfred Merrick's attenuation and the list goes on about a purple heart and holy miracles that way of Alfred Merrick's of 140. Uh, even the word alphanumerics itself. Likewise, the Chase Practicum Joseph being 213 or Chevrolet Silverado and what Z71 is the Pearland or a secret or, you know, uh, something about the Better Business Bureau or, you know, uh, quite a bit, you know, about the alphanumerics or, you know, gee whiz, like, is it pi r squared or is it like algebra, like finding the unknown and Z71 is like 69 uh, um, or, or, you know, even um, 88 of California um, like, like, like Pearland is and, and what the Roosevelt New Deal Act um, seems to me like, you know, the difference between the bicentennial quarter of like the, the quarter and the drummer or what financial instruments is to Sox compliance or, you know, the Sarbanes and Oxley deal about a color code um, of the Ox itself, yeah, or even Oxford University or what that is, you know, today's, you know, Ford is the best in Texas kind of like thing. Or, 
I mean, for real, you know, or in, in, in a way of, of some architecture or some platform deal, you know. And my thing about the, uh, the, the, the cold up and hissing and the front lines of the base front and, and that tube effect of internet protocol and like the American DJ and I've had several, you know, cars um, and, and, you know, um, I've actually, you know, been talked to, I mean, like live by like American DJ several times about, you know, that, that, that sound effect, uh, sound like a seashell called the tube. And I'd heard it years before and I really didn't identify the tube at the time when I heard it at first as being like, you know, of the seashell. I mean, I, I think I heard it, but I mean, it was like the insignificance of like, you know, oh well, you know, I, and remembering, you know, if that was like included or even if YouTube was even available at that time, back in the 80s, you know, it seemed to be like a, a thing, uh, like a high school thing during that time of like an older generation throwing that information, um, you know, while I was attending high school and, and a, a different like generation involved with high school that way. Yeah, so um, that's the way it kind of like hurt it. And yet, I, I was like, you know, involved with baseball and a lot of stuff like that. And I really went into, you know, needing a mobile phone or, you know, like even a laptop at the time. And I mean, all the significance just, you know, wasn't there for me to have the need for it. Really, I was already like occupied with like considerable amount with just baseball in high school. And, you know, my thing about the drums and as often as possible, you know, and, and all the cassettes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and ultimately, yeah, now the compact is I'm actually trying to convert all to MP3 and MP4, you know, um, and like you know i'm trying to get to it and like actually accomplish it yeah so anyway um yeah so anyway so like uh there was something about that and and the sound effect um um of the tube and and the seashell and the way the ear and the eardrum and the ear uh, is designed with um the tube and it's referred to that way as the tube and i'll actually have to think about you know the gnarl if it's actually called the the gnarl tube uh, I'll actually have to look and actually refresh my, my memory about the air as compared to the seashell. I mean, but the similarities, I mean, are so very much, I mean, alike, I mean, uh, uh, and that sound effect of like holding a seashell up to the ear and kind of tilting and twisting a little bit and having that sound effect with it like an American DJ. I mean, it's like mega intense. And, and I've heard that and I've been talking, I mean, like live several times that way in my car. And it's kind of like, you know, uh, it seems to be kind of significant about what I'm talking about in that way and um and what that is to like even fbi miracle you know or the american being 64 or even the six point star of israel and what camp david is to uh, i mean <laughs> campbell's alphabet soup camp bell huh campbell and like what what that is to um you know the united states supreme court southwest court reporter and in the way of like code blue okay, i mean it seems to be like the big deal about uh, the alphabet of 247 and, and like robert e rubin in the way of a quarter, of being like even the Roosevelt New Deal Act of like the commercial paper, paper made thing about, you know, a difference between what commercial paper is, identifying a fixture and venue as compared to a residential and what a current resident is, over the categorization of money is as compared to what, what might only be seen seemingly under business and corporate law as, as something of the social security or non-negotiable, non-transferable itemization in that category that way. Or what an IRA is or is not as compared to an ERISA statute and the acronym um, really getting into it, you know, that way. Um, yeah, so I mean, the acronyms is like a big deal. Uh, what I consider, you know, think about degree level as compared to what equal employment opportunity or equal or, you know, what degree level of opportunity only in terms of real estate normally associating non-negotiable, non-transferable itemization. And what that is, you know, to the FDIC or certificate of deposit or daily standard transaction in the bank involving endorsement. Anyway, yeah, so, um, you know, what the currency is over the categorization of money um, or the degree level, like uh, not being, you know, uh, uh, something of a, a civil rights or human civil rights issue uh, uh, or the human capital uh, and not necessarily a prejudice still of n uh, neglect based upon lack of experience or the degree placed in the categorization of residential neighborhoods that way. Um, not necessarily a venue of like commercial building or living quarter as compared to a bicentennial quarter or what that is to the operator in Chevrolet and the Alpha Merck's 108 or, you know, zero band 64 uh, or Zion in the way of like the thousand years of peace. And that was my thing about Richard Nixon 
And, you know, the V twin thing during that time was like there was a lot going on involving the peace sign, what would normally be some thoughts of like victory or my thing about the V twin, you know, reality of like the, the V twin figure eight drumstick twirl and what that is to a conductor as compared to a semiconductor and like or orchestrated wondering, you know, about, you know, some panoramic academia of 180 degrees. Well, anyway, I mean, it goes on and on and on. I'm getting close to close to an hour here it's like 50 minutes right now and and I'm, i think i'm going to go ahead and you know kind of take a break and maybe focus for a, and, and 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 concentrate a little bit more with what i prefer to and and i want to make sure i covered it all before i actually take a, like a break for the remainder of the day and maybe watch this a couple times because i want to you know do it with like all my, my, my laser lighting 3d animation and get some lighting going on you know like i have like previously but anyway i wanted to get this in during the day while well, i'm thinking about it because i mean really i mean there's more to do but why not, you know? Hey, great. Well, anyway, yeah. So anyway, yeah, there it is right there. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a break until like later on. And if I need to, maybe put a couple more before I get like into the, the lighting thing a little later on, you know, tonight. But anyway, yeah. So anyway, there it is. I'll kind of talk to you later.